To tell you the truth, when I was watching all the comparison Eunice was making, I felt bad, I felt ashamed as a citizen. Oh my goodness, Eunice, Eunice, you have finished us. Eunice dealt with Nigerians. If you happen to watch that video where she compared, okay, there are things that Nigerians should learn from Kenyans. I was like, hey, Eunice, you should have showed mercy a little bit of it, right? <laughs> and somebody was saying that, hey, Nigerians, they, they can only speak grammar. You know, she was like, really talking about the grammar just to come and speak grammar are you are you are you heard <laughs> that we speak grammar <laughs> oh come to think of all these things hmm the giant of africa is this still the thing or is a past story now I haven't introduced myself. If you are returning, a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I love you so much, right? And if you're passing for the first time, you've seen this face for the first time, Abigail Lucimeri is my name. And on this channel, we do things about our life journeys and struggles as a journey towards our creator because I believe life is a journey which we are all struggling on. We talk about faith, hope, and love and things like this. So if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Let's make this channel grow, right? By hitting that subscribe button and then a notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos and if you like this video sweetheart if you like this video why not give it a thumbs up and then we move ahead right so when you know so say when you go to Kenya there are ro good road networks there is infrastructure there is wood and wood I say hmm this Kenya I have to visit it or oh, I have to oh has your government paid uni <laughs> the way they said um, the, 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 the Zimbabwean government paid uh, Wodemeyer. Have your government paid units to promote you? Units, how much did you collect? <laughs> oh my goodness. But it's not funny anyway. No, I'm coming. I'm not joking. I am serious about it. See, I'm ready. Hmm. Let me show this to you. I am, I am ready. I am not joking. This is it though. I am. I am ready. I am coming. Are you seeing this? So I am not joking. So be prepared though. Be prepared. I want to come and see those things, those goodies, right? Ah, there's a lot of things happening in the country. Eunice is not far from the truth. This is reality. And if you're in Nigeria, because when I was watching it, I felt bad. To tell you the truth, when I was watching all the comparison Eunice was making, I felt bad. I felt ashamed as a citizen. Because I don't think any citizen will watch this and be happy. A lot of things have gone wrong in this country. That is what I am saying. A lot of things have gone wrong. To see that a country like Kenya is above us in everything is a slap on our face. It's a slap. No, it's not a show of pride. It's not anything. No, just Nigeria. It's just like we are living in the shadows now. You can't sleep at peace. I, she didn't even mention everything, no. She didn't mention everything. You can't live at peace in your house. Two days ago, my shop was boggled. <laughs> they boggled my shop. They came in through the ceiling. I went away with some money that we left there. Just some, some little money we left there. And then they scattered some things. Maybe with the annoyance that they didn't get money. You know? So, I know some of these things happen, yeah, it can happen anywhere, people can boggle anywhere, it's something that I don't think is, uh, is only here, but I think I'm just trying to prove a point here. The Nigeria before, when we were growing up, hmm, we sleep outside, like outside, you just come out, drop your bed, drop your, uh, uh, your mat and sleep at the front of your house. We gather there, sleep after to, uh, discussing under the moonlight and then we sleep outside we wake around five or four or five or around two whenever cold start entering out that is when we stand up mm, it's cold that wakes us up but now i dare you to 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 stay outside even inside your house they will look for you and come insecurity this is something that i don't know the government is using it I don't know whether it's political. Okay. Why is it? I see that picture she showed you <laughs> about that, that road that looks like the, the map of Nigeria. I watched it to the end. The, the road, the, 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 the potholes on the road was looking like the map of Nigeria. Hi, God of mercy. And it is the truth. 
she is not <laughs> mixing words when she say that because most of our roads federal roads this is not even a state federal roads are bad just imagine how mm -hmm, it's now that they are beginning to do some since how many years they started this uh, broad project china is always here oh. i don't know what they're always doing you'll be seeing them moving around with uh, security men <laughs> you see them moving around with security men because they are scared of being kidnapped oh. anybody can be kidnapped in nigeria ah let me let me talk quietly oh. Anybody can be kidnapped. You are not safe. Kidnapping now is just like the, the normal norm of the country. When they see you and they look at you that you are earning some little thing, instead of them to go and... And the reason is that lack of job opportunity for the youth. A lot of youth are, 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 are studying, they've graduated, they, they are unemployed. So this gives room to a lot of evil in a community when the youth are not being cared for. And that is why I say this upcoming election, eh? Hmm. We better open our eyes and vote for the right person. You see, we are always carried away. And that's why the politicians always take advantage of the fact that they can easily come and create division between us. And bam, it's done. They can use religion. Hmm. In Nigeria, you know, you didn't mention this one. In the whole African countries, in, in short, in the whole world, is there any country that has the number of churches that Nigerians have? No, ha, that will carry number one. There are some churches that you hear their name. Ha! You will ask yourself, how will a human being sit down and then look at the name of a church like this and carry him or herself and go start and start going to that church? You will hear you overdo it now, 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 international ministry. What is that? Oh my goodness. Jehovah, what, what, some of the names, uh, if you hear them, you ask yourself, what is wrong with those persons that are going to those churches? Now, religion we carry on our head, but the love, the genuine love for one another is not there. It's not there. We are so wicked that we kill ourselves when our brother is progressing. You hear, oh, the person is dead, they'll put charm at the front of the door, let the person come and die. At least, I think some persons at the comment section were saying Nigeria is doing well in Hollywood, in a cultural world of view. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, film industry and the music industry. I think that is where uh, what is holding the country's dignity right now. This is the truth though. If you're in Nigeria and you're watching, you want to be vexed, please be vexing on your own. No, don't be vexing and dropping anything on, on comment on my channel. As a Nigerian, I am disappointed. I am ashamed. And that is the truth that I'm trying to say, right? I am disappointed, I am ashamed. Because a lot is going wrong. And if care is not taken, if we do not say enough. No, but there's something else I like about my country that you need to not mention. Hmm? By the time the youth get angry and say enough is enough, they are going to do it. It's just left for them to, to make up their mind. Eh? It's left for the youth to make up their mind and say this one, you don't do. We have to kick this out. And they will do it. They will do it. Whether they are killed or not, they will do it. That's one thing I like about my country. It's just that these politicians are wicked people. These politicians, they are more than witches and wizards. Mm, I said that. I think which day was that? I was talking about Africa not growing, why we're not loving one another. And I'm talking about the leaders. Eh? And I talked about Buhari, our, our, our president, Muhammadu Buhari. But executive caste for Niger Republic as security cars. Like, he bought cars for them, like he's fighting insurgency, fighting insecurity. In Nigeria, are we not dying? Where he even bought those cars? They were they almost kidnapped him. <laughs> I see him they kidnap or oh, it was the vice president or somebody else. I think one dignitary like that, they almost they almost kidnapped. they ambushed the person. And bam, we heard that. Buhari have sent some amount of executive cars. Like when you see the, when I say executive cars, you know what executive cars is. He sent it to the Czech Republic. I know this why there's this um, controversy or there's this um, I don't know which word to use for it right now. The word is not coming right now. Uh, most of us, most of us are believing that Buhari that is on the seat right now is not Buhari from Nigeria. The one from Nigeria is dead long ago. It is somebody from the Czech Republic that is here as 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 Buhari. All this is for political aim. They do not want to come down. So they're trying their best to bring someone from their side that can stay and be, and be destroying more because they have an agenda. So there are things we do. See, we are more on religiosity and less spirituality. 
in Nigeria, that is it. We are more on religiosity and that is why we are empty. We are dying by day because we are not sincere. The lack of sincerity. And that's why it's easy for a, a boy to feel like, okay, since I, I graduated, there's no job opportunity. Since the government have failed, the, the society have failed me, everything has failed me, I should go into duping people. Somebody will struggle for money, they will dupe the person. We call it Yahoo Yahoo, that not so fast money. Then there's another one they call Yahoo Plus Plus, they use rich, rich wallies. Rich what we are killing ourselves to make money. Hey! Is it happening also in Kenya? Kenya, so if you are there, leave your comment though. Don't just be watching and passing. Leave your comment because the units have praised you very well. So I want to be seeing that thing going. So that by the time I reach there, I will say, okay, this is true. Uh, I will just attest to the fact that uh, units, have, units have brought it out. Oh, when did we get here? You know, sometimes you sit and you ask yourself, would things ever get better? From ourselves. And it's only in Nigeria that, I don't know if it happens in Kenya, you can leave a comment there also. I noticed that by the time a price goes up, it doesn't come down. It's either I remain there or it add. A price of this keep almost everything in the market. You hear the price increasing, increasing. By the time that thing comes down, those uh, bringing it down for wholesale, for those that are selling wholesale to sell, they don't reduce the price. You get the point. So they themselves, they sell for those retailers, they don't reduce the price. Now the retailers sell for consumption without reducing the price because those up have refused to reduce the price. When it has reduced, they keep they will tell themselves, this one uh, na income, na good business with this. Money down where way. Do you know that when you're even doing a business and you get too much profit is a sin? That is to say you are you are you are making the other person uncomfortable and God is not happy about that as well. So there's a lot of things in Nigeria that, oh, God of mercy, you need, hey, thank you. Thank you for, for saying this thing. At least, let us wake up. If we, if you're in Nigeria and you are seeing this, we need to change right from our homes. We need to cut corruption right from our homes. Then the society will start having effect, uh, feeling it. Because when you say government, 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 we do not start from ourselves. Yes, so there's no doubt. The government have failed us. The government have failed woefully. Oh no, you see, even the light itself, oh, the light itself is, is corrupted, the light went out. <laughs> anyway, Asante Sana for watching us to this point, I think that should be, thank you so much, oh, thank you very much, right? <laughs> thank you so much for watching up to this point, if you haven't subscribed, why not think about subscribing to this channel, right, to help the channel grow also, and I'll see you in my next one, until then, love yourself, love others, stay safe, stay positive. Bye.